Okay, so here comes the curve that I didn't even think about until just now. But I said to Kevin, the two PR people in the room have to cover your ears, please. Uh, I said to Kevin, okay, what's Yahoo Hot Jobs going to be in five years? Now, Monster's been talking about this big new January. We're going to be totally different. We're going to be great, new, and exciting. And in fact, we couldn't be here today. We invited Monster, but we can't be here today because we have these giant meetings uh, about our relaunch. So cover your ears, please. What's Monster going to be in five years, especially given their um, current financial challenges? Uh, not that Hot Jobs doesn't have current financial challenges or Career Builder doesn't have current financial challenges. Terry's the only fat and happy one here. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm the fat one. He's the fat and happy one. Um, he lives in San Diego. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so what's Monster going to be in five years? And um, I'm going to really be rude and put you on the spot, right? Cover your ear. Yeah, I wish Monster were here because you'd be able to address that. Sure. That question to them. Um, but that's more fun. I mean, you know, we get the PR speech from them. We want the good stuff from you guys. Well, you know, the reality is, is you know, I'm not here to comment on Monster, and I can't. Oh, okay. Comment on you know, okay. I, I really don't. You know, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty bullish and, and really excited about the things that Career Builder are doing. Um, you know, I, I would, I'd be honored for for Monster to continue to be, you know, the strong competitor that they've been in the past. You know, and I. And I only have good things, um, you know, I hope only good things for them. Um, but I, you know, I can't comment on months. Okay. Um, <coughs> go home, you're safe. Uh, Kevin? Uh, you know, I think um, we're hiring monster people, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and none of, no, <laughs> nobody from Hot Jobs yeah. has ever been hired by monster, I'm sure. But, okay. The, uh, yeah. We get two whip out reports. So, no, I'll just say it's, it's very okay. interesting that they bought Trovix. Okay, right. so you know, everybody think, thinks the Trovix deal is yeah. really what. I mean, we didn't have to spend that much money because we, you know, have great engineers doing it for us. But I, I think that's that's all. Awesome. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if you know, but DCO actually is a partner with Monster. We onboard their newspaper relationships. Uh, so literally, I can't speak to that because I'm under. Uh, <laughs> okay, I went, went, I went down a road I shouldn't have gone but, but down. Let me, I'm sorry. Let me, let me speak to that with respect to the 500 job boards we do power, and that is, I think there's going to be a big emphasis on services. And if you look at the recruitment market, job board listing revenue, and how that model might change, and the placement market, uh, placement market is 2, 3x bigger, and the fundamental difference is they provide services. So the gap between finding a candidate, qualifying that a candidate, getting that candidate through the onboarding process, those are all services recruiters need. Um, and if you start at the source and just extend those services to you know, the hiring of the candidate, there is a lot of uh, growth and opportunity for job boards to add additional services. So you know, running the searches on behalf of uh, clients, doing first level, level interviews on behalf of clients, doing background checks on behalf of clients, you know, taking them through that process on a service basis, um, it will generate significant revenue. So these won't be job boards or even recruitment sites anymore. They're going to be recruitment companies uh, that have the that have the site and have the job board as one as a component. Tool. I, that that by the way is why we.